Making a recipe from my childhood, y'all. This is my mama's bunkhouse stew. Hey, this is Stacy from Let's Cook, y'all. Welcome to our channel. We are so excited to be participating in another collaboration with Karina from her channel, Life's Little Things, and I'll have that listed in the link below. This is a fall suit 2018 collaboration, and we could not be more excited to share one of our family's recipes. This is my mama's bunkhouse stew. A lot of people commonly refer to this as Brunswick stew, but in our family, she did both. So I'll show you the way we make it. It is a great suit for a cool fall or a cold winter's evening. You can make it on the stove top and leave it simmering. You can make it and then put it in a crock pot and take it to a family get together or party. We hope you enjoy the stew and we hope you enjoy the video. Have a wonderful and blessed day y'all. For the fall soup collab with Karina, I'm going to make my mom's very old recipe for bunkhouse stew. Here is her handwritten card. This has been in our family a long time. If you'll see, it says it's a number two can of tomatoes. So it's before they change, change them. This is often called Brunswick stew in other parts of the country. I believe they use um, games such as squirrel. Not sure what other kinds. My husband would say they use coon and possum, but I've never had it that way. My mom would make it also with chicken and turkey, but this one is a little different. This is her bunkhouse stew. And as always, I will have the recipe written out and linked below. But the ingredients that you'll need are some ground beef, some garlic, an onion, a bell pepper, which I'm leaving out today, some chili powders, some sugar, some diced tomatoes, kidney beans, and shoe peg corn. So let me show you how our family makes my mom's bunkhouse stew. This recipe has very little steps involved. The first thing you wanna do is chop your on onions, bell pepper, and garlic, and then go ahead and open all of your cans, but do not drain them, and then we will start browning the meat. Add the onion, the garlic, and the bell pepper, if you're using it, and brown these with the meat. Once the beef is browned and your onions, we're gonna add, then we're gonna add the chili powder, a little bit of sugar. My mom always taught me if I use canned tomatoes to use a little sugar. And then we're gonna add the cans with their liquid. This doesn't have any broth or anything else that makes liquid. Normally I would drain all the liquid from my kidney beans, try to be a little healthier, but that's what makes the broth for this stew. After this, we're just going to mix it together, put it on low to simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour. Once it's combined and you're just going to simmer it for about an hour, you can easily transfer this to a crock pot on low to keep as long as you need it. And this is my mom's bunkhouse stew. From the best of my memory, I think she just served it with cornbread. We're just gonna have some rolls or biscuits or chips. Pretty much anything works with this. This is a great recipe. I'm really excited to share it with you. Thank you so much to Karina for hosting the Fall Soup 2018 collab. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone else's videos in the playlist. Be sure to go and check them out. I'll have the link listed below as well as the link to my mama's recipe. Thanks so much for stopping by our channel. Let's cook y'all. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe if you hadn't already. Have a wonderful and truly blessed day y'all.